Hi, Vaughn here, and today it's roast chicken. Everybody loves a roast chicken. This is how I do it. Today we got this from Griller's Meats, the local uh, butcher shop here in Salmon Arm. So this is a beautiful chicken, and we're going to roast it. So to begin with, we need to dry it. We need to dry our chicken, and so there's no moisture at all, and that means on both sides, and in the cavity as well. So we want to get this bad boy just as dry as we can get it. Now that we have our chicken dry, we're going to season it. We could use all kinds of seasonings, but I'm just going to use salt and pepper at this point. So make sure we get plenty of salt and pepper. Right now, it's not just about the seasoning. It's more about drying it out, drawing that moisture out of there. So, get some pepper on there. All right, so we got one side down, and let's flip it over and get some salt and pepper on the other side as well. After I've seasoned it with salt and pepper, I am going to make a few holes into the skin. You can use any kind of sharp implement. Um, a toothpick works just fine. I'm gonna use a nice little carving fork here. And I am going to make holes in the skin, probably about 20 of them. And this will help release the moisture. Now that we've made a few holes, at least 20, don't have to count exactly. Then we're, we're pretty much done with this process right here. We're going to take this bad boy and we're going to put him in the refrigerator. We're going to put him in there about eight hours, I think. Eight hours is probably about the time. What time is it? Oh, yeah, that's plenty of time. So eight hours in there, then we'll take it out, get it to room temperature, and um, get it to roasting. So our chicken has been sitting in the refrigerator for eight hours. I took it out an hour ago. It is sitting here becoming room temperature. So I want to get some vegetables together and I want to put that in with our chicken. I have carrots, fennel, onion, and garlic. I'm going to add just a little bit of avocado oil. It's because I love avocado oil and give that a mix. So when we put it in, I made these kind of chunky so the chicken can just sit right on top of it. There we go and take in all that flavor. All right, done. We're going to set this aside and the yellow is for chicken. So now we know. So now, process of what we're going to do now. It's a lot of noise, sorry. I'm going to take the chicken and we're going to tie it up. What we need is some butcher's string. We need about three feet. That's about three feet, I'm going to guess. And now our chicken is ready to go. I'll be cooking our chicken today in a Dutch oven. It's a uh, La Coisse. Dutch oven and I'm going to put the vegetables in right now and if you don't have one of these you can always just put your vegetables right on here put your chicken on and put it right in the oven at 400 cook that for an hour so since I am using this I am just going to pour them right my vegetables right in there set that aside take our chicken Put it right in there. Mm. Make sure she's snug in there. Voila. Like I said, 400 degrees. Make sure you preheat your oven so it's ready to go. And I'm going to put the lid on it for half an hour. And then I'm going to take the lid off for another half an hour. Cook it for another half an hour. And we'll have some beautiful chicken. Beautiful roast chicken. And can't think of anything else right now. So... I'm going to pop it in the oven. 
Right on. <laughs> it's ready. Yay. Wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That uh, is so awesome. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. I can't wait. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get the camera and let you see this. Oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful thing. That is one beautiful bird. We're going to let that sit and uh, rest for oh, a little bit, 10, 15 minutes. Get the uh, dining room table set, open some more wine. Uh, yeah, I've been busy already. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm just going to turn this around. Hope it works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks again to Grillers Meats. Fantastic place to shop. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.